from the title from the title of this uh, thoughts on this trailer you of what movie you know what it is. I just had I knew when this is I knew when they were when they announced their like last year they were making a movie of this and, I, and uh, had to wait for a trailer for this to see how it turned out. I knew it kind of be something like this. I just knew it. Jesus Christ Almighty. And I'm sorry if I upset God by saying that because this is how this is how infuriating this is for me. So I do apologize. Please strike me down with lightning for all I care. Yeah, so that's what I think about the trailer for Dora the Explorer, or Dora and the Lost City of Gold. First of all, why you just call it? Why call it Lost City of Gold? Why does it make it sound like an Indiana Jones slash Tomb Raider movie? Why can't I just call it Dora the Explorer the movie? First of all, that's the first thing. Lost City of Gold. What does that sound like? It sounds like what? Call it like El El Dorado, the Lost City of Gold. Or is it trying to say like 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 from Indiana Jones, the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? You know, Lost City, an entire city built out of gold. Or what was that another city that was built out of gold from National Treasure, the Book of Secrets? Okay, yeah, I, and I figure I knew it would be, it would be mo mod modernized of today's age. I knew that it would be that. Because everything has to be modernized nowadays. And let me go through this really quick. Okay, yeah, Dora the Explorer is played by Isabel. What was her name? She was in Transformers The Last Night. She was that girl with that little Autobot. Yeah, Isabella Moner, whatever her name is. Didn't care for her in The Last Night anyway, and the... the the film sucked anyway, but I just didn't care for her anyway. Yeah, she plays Dora, the teen, a teenage Dora, Dora, Dora the Explorer. She, you know, she's like she's always excited for the jungle and all that stuff. And until her parents, one of them, her parent, her father, is played by Michael Pena. Sad to see him in this movie. I like Michael Pena. He play he plays Dora's father. I forget the other actress who plays her mother, but I've seen her somewhere else, but I forget. But, uh, you know, she says, she tells her, you know, you've been through this jungle long enough, you're grown up, basically, now you have to go back to school. High school. And, and they, so, so he goes back, he goes, he goes to high school, and, <laughs> yeah, you bring all this stuff to school. First, he brings, what was it, a flare, and what was it, I forget. She, she had a knife on her, it's some other stuff that you don't bring to school, weapons. <laughs> She, you bring all this, yeah, that's the thing you bring, you bring to school, all these weapons, because you've been in the jungle for too long. Yeah, that's another thing you wish you could get expelled for having weapons on campus. And they meet, they meet with her because she has some, some other kids, and one of her, it went for her cousin, freaking Diego, which... I don't know where to say about Diego. First of all, I'll get to, I'll get to the cartoon in a second here. Then gets like the guy who the guy um what was the guy's name? The guy who played Jenga Fett, um T T Timur Morrison, who plays Jenga Fett from Attack of the Clones. And well he just recently appeared in the Aqua Moon Aquaman movie. I think he was Arthur Curry's adopted father human father. And he also voiced um Moana's father in Moana as well. I think he was also in the the third dust, from, the third dust till dawn film. Hangman's cursing was. He's in this. I guess he's our villain. I would say because he's the one who takes. I guess he's the one who kidnapped because I guess Dora's parents are kidnapped. And they and him and take her and his her friends and Diego too. And it's in the jungle and they have to, we have to find this lost city of gold. 
you know, so like, Indi like Indiana, it's sort of like Indiana Jones, especially King of the Crystal Skull, because you know, you know, Indiana Jones takes to to find uh, uh, a friend, a colleague of his, an old colleague, but uh, Shia LaBeouf's mother, because also who has also been taken. So it's kind of, it's always sort of following like an Indiana Jones type of film, and it's also feel like a Tomb Raider film as well. So they're in the jungle, and it's like, oh, because she has, a, and one of the girls like, oh, she has a knife. Yeah, she brings a knife with her. One thing leads to another. They have this, uh, there's this big adventure going on, and they meet this guy who's supposed to be like God, I guess. And then he gets like, oh, I'm facing spider web, and he gets knocked out. And then Dora goes like, now of course they're making her into a total action star, which I would, of course I would see that. Of course they make something like that, a character like that into an action star. She's like going through these traps and all that stuff, and oh, and she has her her friend monk, her monkey friend Boots. A bad CGI monkey, and for what I see, for the for a character a monkey was named Boots, I didn't see him wear no boots at all, which completely deviates from the freaking cartoon. Hey, it's play it's, it's made by Nickelodeon. Hey, Nickelodeon, hello. Your character's name is Boots, and for all, and that's what his whole purpose of his name was from the cartoon. He's a monkey with red boots. His name is Boots, and I don't see him wearing boots. Something wrong with that? Hello. And especially the CGI is awful. And from what I've read, from what I've read up, if the, the, the monkey talks, well, he didn't talk in the trailer though. But he said there's a actor was um, actor was voicing Boots, freaking Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo as voice of Boots. What's the what's the what's gonna sound like? What's he gonna oh it looks someone like he's freaking mach like sound like he's machete. I'm machete or I'm Boots or something like that. Trying to keep calm here. I know it's a tra I know it's a movie trailer, but I'm just. And then Swiper the fox, is in the movie as well. And he's voiced by freaking Benicio Benicio del Toro. Wait, he's on the. I didn't see him in the trailer, but he's vo Benicio del Toro is voicing him. So Dora the Explorer, yeah. Say it, it's an Indiana Jones slash Tomb Raider setting, and we're trying to rescue her parents, from Jango Fett. That's what I'm calling him, Jango Fett. Now, okay, first of all, yeah, the car. Okay, going back with the cartoon, yeah, I've seen, I've seen some when I was little, yeah, but I wasn't the biggest fan of Dora the Explorer anyway. All right, I didn't care for it. Yeah, the whole concept. Okay, yeah, she's first of all bringing her parents because the, the kid, the girl, never had parents. For I remember in the cartoon anyway, all I remember was the character was introduced was Diego or cousin. That was it. And all the other tra his traveling companions, the animal friends, and freaking backpack. I'm surprised they didn't put a voice for the freaking backpack in this movie. You know, backpack, backpack. That's what I, I hate. I hate the freaking backpack. You know, backpack, backpack. I oh, I hate the backpack. I'm surprised they didn't give to make the the backpack come alive and have a voice. Yeah, the thing is, though, she's always uh, she always wants to go on these adventures, you know, willingly, not alone, not being dragged into like a situation like oh, because the reason her parents are kidnapped, which that deviates from that cartoon as well. There wasn't a reason for her to reason go on these adventures except she will willingly because with these animal friends needed help or a little situations of course, but not like a life and death situation to find some treasure because her care you know parents are kidnapped or whatever. And of course, like I mentioned before, the boots, the character, the monkey with red boots. In this film, no boots at all. I, well, I didn't see. I'm thinking of the poster. I didn't see from a look at the poster where Dora. Let me show that freaking poster. Where is that? For I don't see. Yeah, I don't see no monkey wearing red boots. Do you? Which that was the reason for the characters, the monkey's name, boots in the first place. I don't see no boots. And was, oh, yeah, it's, it's also, and as I mentioned, it's directed by James uh, Bobin. Yeah, the guy the guy directed two, the two Muppets movies. You know, the 2011 movie, the Muppets movie, and then the Most Wanted. I didn't see those, though. But he directed the, the, the um, Alice Through the Looking Glass, a sequel to 2010's Alice in Wonderland, that sequel. I didn't like Alice in Wonderland to begin with, and the sequel sucked anyway. Alice Through the Looking Glass. So that guy, yeah, the guy who directed Alice Through the Looking Alice to the Looking Glass is directing Dora the Explorer the movie City of Lost Gold, or 
or Dora, or, 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 or Dora, the next Indiana Jones, like, that's what they're trying to make her, make her out to be, because she's smart, she's able to handle the traps and all that stuff, and... And it's just, uh, and I, I, I already know it's gonna, it's gonna change a whole lot of things from the cartoon. I know that. Well, the boost is the number one thing that I noticed right away. But yeah, and also, of course, making her a teenager, going to high school, of course. And uh, I forget there was uh, there was some certain other pop song I didn't barely even noticed. And of course, they throw in some modernized songs in there as well. And the kid, I'm doing like, like it's a typical cliche we storyline we've seen a whole but done a bunch of times. Like even when she goes to high school, of course. Oh, another line from which she's where she go. Um, in the classroom, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the jungle. I know, get the, I know, I get the instant ability that the kids are already think she's a weirdo and all that stuff. I already uh, that cliche is gonna play in, and we'll such say so something with her friends who say, oh, she brought a knife, like she, like she said, you no, know, and yeah, it's, it's a joke, it's a cliche that's been done a whole bunch of times. You know, typical like like outsider girl who's trying to fit in with this society, the with the school kids and all that, and. It's, She's an outsider, and the kids already think she's weird because she said, "So I love them for saying, oh, I'm from the jungle." That's an instant giveaway right there. Oh, man. I don't care. I don't care. This is a, this is a longer on my thoughts on trailer. It, it deserves it because. Like, it's just aggravating. I knew this. Is, I I knew this is one trailer. I, when I was waiting for it to come out, I knew it was exactly how it was gonna be, and I was right. Just as aggravating. It's just aggravating me so much. No one. I just yeah. I didn't feel like toss. If I were, I was even. I'm just trying to keep my composure here. Otherwise, I really would turn my room upside down and tore everything apart here. But no, just it's, it's, it, it takes a lot. It's gonna take a lot more to get me so really angry, though. This is like a like a small smidge of it. <sighs> Dora the Explorer, well, Dora, the Lost City of Gold. Yeah, Dora Explorer slash Indiana Jones. The the next Indiana Jones. The next Tomb Raider. I wasn't a big fan of the cartoon anyway. Freaking Blue's Clues that I grew up more with. It's a better cartoon than this. I'm surprised they don't. I'm surprised they don't get the idea to make a live action Blue's Clues. Well, the, well actually, it was live action. My, I take that back. Because uh, we could get Steve, and then what was his other the other, the other cousin's name? I forget Steve, but that, that was live action though. But it was like an actual theoretical release movie. But I'm saying Blue's Clues is a lot better than Door the Explorer. Or other ones that were released on Nick Jr. Nick Jr. was Little Bear, I would say. I haven't seen that, that show in years. My brother liked that show. I haven't seen that show in years. That's miles better than Door the Explorer. Even better than the movie itself. And Blue's Clues is a lot better than the movie itself. And also, freaking, also, not only the by Nickelodeon movies, it's also produced Where Is That Company? I swear, I, I thought I saw. It was by was it, yeah, Platinum Dooms, yeah, my, that was my, Michael Bay's company there, yeah, of course, of course, he could make it like an action pack movie, making her like Indiana Jones slash Tomb Raider, because produced by, by, by Michael Bay's company. And I'm surprised Michael Bay's name ain't, he ain't produced this movie, otherwise it well, has to have has more has to have more explosions and more uh, pointless and unfunny jokes like he did for the Ninja Turtles movies. See, I'm surprised Michael Bay's not, his name he ain't, and he, I'm sorry he ain't involved in this movie. Well, his company is, but his name is he's not producing or anything. Uh, and this is much more longer video that I, I give on for a, for a reactionary trailer because because it's, it's it, it was a trailer that I. What, 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 it was a trailer. If I saw this trailer while, when it was gonna come out a while back, I knew it was gonna be exactly how it is. I just had this really feeling when I, if I, for the moment I knew they were gonna make a movie about this, and when I was waiting for a trailer, I figured it was gonna be exactly like how it is. You know, her like it was like like modernized. I knew it was gonna throw in some of that stuff in, and then being like an action, he making making her like let alone an action hero, let alone being like an action movie. 
Michael Pena. I like Michael Pena. He plays Dora's father. Don't be in this movie, but it's already too late. And the guy who plays Jango Fett, he's the villain. And freaking Danny Trejo as booze. That sounds so off. Well, because I know, because the show... is I know, it's more, you know, it speaks in Spanish. I know that. And Danny Trejo and, and even Benicio Del Toro as well. But, so I could have the... And this, this is also of Michael Pena as well, though. But, yeah. Hispanic. Because the show is also part of... The cartoon was part of Hispanic, you know. Say, hola, or whatever what they say in Spanish. And that's another thing. I'm surprised that the, in the trailer, well, probably they won't do in the movie, where in the cartoon, you know, how they just look at towards the, the audience. Oh, we need your help. Uh, can you uh, help us out? Or, um, wh where is this? Where is this? And wait for the audience to, you know, you know, use the arrow to click to where the thing is, or whatever person or place. I'm so, if I if that's in the movie, it's not in the trailer, but if I, if I see that, and it's not... I would be surprised if they put that in the movie, because, of course, I know they make changes to the cartoon from the from the show, but I will be surprised if they do that, you know, you know, t t tell us, the audience, like, oh, hey, can you tell us which way to go, or where is this, where is this person, or where is this thing, or whatever. I'll be surprised if, they, if that's in the movie. Casts, characters... God. I don't even know what more I can say on this. This film is this trailer freaking sucked. It's dog shit basically. That's what it is. Dog. This is dog shit. Nickelodeon movies. What are you freaking doing? I and I know the plan in the future for the next few years. They're gonna do a, a live action of Rugrats as well. And I guarantee the babies are gonna be like either using babies with CGI mouth moving or just entirely CGI babies. I know they're gonna do that because I've looked it up. They're gonna plan to try to do a live action version of Rugrats. <sighs> Man. I don't want to say Dora the Explorer. Sorry, Dora the 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 Lost City of Gold, aka the next Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider slash Tomb Raider. Oh my god! That's why I, I just feel like doing that one last time because I'm I'm very aggravated by this trailer. I knew exactly what it was gonna be. I knew it was gonna make me mad. I knew it, and I was right. So anyway, yeah, that's my that's what I have more to say. Yeah, Dora the Explorer. I'm just putting it short in that. The trailer, bull crap. I I, I would have to. I don't know if there's some other reason that's gonna make me watch this movie. I don't know what is. I know somehow, probably, right in the in the in the slightest back in the back of my mind, like somewhere in the very small that's buried underneath the back of my mind is probably. It's gonna make me see this, and if if it is, oh my god, God help me if I will see this movie. I'm sure, I'm sure my brother, if he sees this trailer, he's gonna freaking laugh at it, and he wants to see the film to laugh at, just to laugh at it. I want to see it. Yeah, if he wants maybe, if he wants to see this with me, just to laugh at, it, I'll go to. It. I want to laugh at this film too, see how freaking bad it is. But if at the same time, if I'm laughing, I'm gonna be really angry inside because it's gonna be making me mad because I know how much the film's gonna suck. So yeah, I'll put like a laughing smiley face on the outside, but inside here, you know, my the gut feeling that I have. So, but chances are, if I'm gonna see the film, I don't know. But if someone tells me when that film comes out, I probably end up going to see it. If I ain't, I ain't gonna pay it, my brother's gonna pay for it. Cause I ain't gonna waste my money on this. <sighs> I know the big result. And this is this is, and this is the longest I gave my thoughts on a trailer. This is the longest video I have. I if I remember if I know that re me reacting to the trailer. So I'm done now because I don't go. And 20 minutes in, I don't want to go anymore. We're just talking about a freaking live action. The live action film of Door the Explorer, the movie Lost City of Gold. I don't want to talk about that anymore. But thanks for watching. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy this this rant. So. It is, it is definitely a random, with, without a shadow of a doubt. 
But I hope you enjoyed it, though. We stay for this long. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next movie review. Later.